Hey there, and welcome to part six of the Creating the Game series. Today we'll be picking up where we left off and we're going to add a face message to the level and an NPC message to the level, similar to what you see in Cornero when you start. We're going to create a second test level. It's gonna be basically cloning the first one and making just a few tweaks. We're finally going to look at the level linking system and use that to make sure that we can go from one level to the other. And finally, we're going to use the, a blueprint called Stage Clear to force the stage to end and go to the next level by using the level linking system. So if I go ahead and jump to Unreal, really quickly to recap, if you've been following up, the past five videos we've added a uh, track for the player to, to go through. We have some dynamic obstacles that are moving around. We have some pickups. We have some proximity mines. We have a checkpoint system that respawns if we die. We have some enemies that are flying randomly inside this volume. We have this guy that's following a patrol route. And we have two enemies here that are aggressive. This guy will zoom past us and try to shoot at us uh, and by staying in front of us for a set amount of time. And this guy will do the opposite and fly past us on the screen. And uh, that's where we left off. So today we're going to complete the cycle in a way and see how can we make sure that uh, when we reach the end of the level that we can actually force the, the, the player to basically finish the level. So the first thing we'll do is, if we go back to the, to the slide here, so we're going to add a phase message. So if you go to uh, Blueprints, Actors, UMG, VP Show Widget Face. It's right here, the third one here. Go ahead and drag this to the very uh, start of the stage and let's go ahead and put it kind of in the middle here let's scale it up make sure that the uh, the player actually goes through let's rotate it 180 degrees make sure we can see the message and right now all it says is title uh, go ahead and scale it in the X axis and this widget specifically works like this uh, the message will show as soon as you overlap this volume and as soon as you end the overlap, the message will go away. So as soon as we start the level, a little face message will appear. And then as soon as we end, as soon as we uh, end the overlap here, which is going to be right at, at, as soon as we kind of hit this uh, first building here. Let's make it a little bit bigger here. So as soon as we uh, get get close to this building, the message will go away. And you can see right here, let me just. Uh, there we go. And you can see that there are two things that you can add. Uh, if you come here to the setup on the blueprint, there's a title and there's a face text. So the title is what's gonna appear at the top. So let's just put level one as the title. And then face message is whatever message you want to put in here. So let's just put hurry to the end, just a random message. So if we go ahead and click play, making sure that we're at the default player start, click play. Notice that it says level one, hurry to the end. And as soon as we get to this part here, end overlap, the message disappears. Simple enough. Okay, so now let's go, let's go ahead and come to the very end of the level here and add a, uh, a message from an NPC. So the first one, VP show message, go ahead and drag this to the end here. And same thing, we're going to scale it up, make sure that the player does indeed overlap. So press R, scale it in the Y, scale it in the Z. Make sure that, again, the player is overlapping it. Let's rotate it 180 degrees again, okay? And if you click, uh, you have the blueprint clicked and you look at the uh, setup here, you'll notice that we have a few things. We have a widget message, and this is misspelled, I need to correct that. This is the message that will appear here on the text render. This is just for you as you're building the level in the editor to remember what message will appear. So for now, let's just put NPC message, pretty generic. The actual message that will appear at the bottom of the screen is entered here. So. Let's go ahead and make this uh, as generic as you can get. This is a message from an NPC. You do have display delay in seconds. We're going to leave it at five seconds. 
and then we have a portrait ID and you can see here that you can do from zero to two. Um, this is the way for you to have a different picture show up and I have on the template I come with three sample pictures obviously zero one and two so we're gonna leave it at the default at zero and if you want a sound to uh, play when the transmission begins then you can specify the transmission sound here so let's go ahead and click save all and if we click play I'm just gonna zoom past all this get the checkpoint notice that we had the face text Let's just zoom past here and we will get the MPC message pretty soon here as soon as we overlap and you can see at the bottom left this is a message from an MPC and you see that the portrait is the blue guy uh, just for demonstration purposes let's make sure that we pick number one that's a different portrait and if we click play okay zoom past and we should have, there we go. Now we have a different portrait being shown. This is a message from an NPC with a different portrait. Okay, simple enough. Cool. So that's how you can do uh, different messages. And of course you can do as many messages as you want, but this is a quick and dirty way of having some messages pop up for the player. Okay, now let's go ahead and create the second level. And for now, all we're going to do is clone this level and make it a slight tweak. So if you go to the root folder, ASST, go to maps, go to level tutorial, which is this level, right click, do duplicate, and let's call this level tutorial two. Save all. And actually let's just open it. And it looks exactly the same. So let's just make a few changes for us. Let's take out the enemies these two aggressive enemies. Let's take out the obstacles. And this is of course arbitrary, it's just for us to figure out that we are indeed in a different level. Let's go to the face show um, widget face VP and change the title to level two and the message to, in this case, almost there. Let's click save all. And if now we click play, we see that it's saying level two, almost there, and it's a bit more empty. We get the same message from an NPC here. This is a message, cool. And uh, I think maybe later on we'll, we'll use this level to add some other things like the procedural debris. Maybe we can do the sky, um, the, the space sky box. But for now, just to show how, um, how the level linking system works, we'll just go ahead and leave it like that. So that's as far as we're gonna take it for the test level. Let's go ahead and talk about uh, the level linking system here. So let's go back to Unreal. If you go back to the root folder here, go to ASST, data tables, DT levels, which is the data table. And this is at the root of the level linking system. Um, you'll see that we have three different levels right here. We have level corneria, level survival mode, and level time attack. And you have a few things that you can specify for the level. You have a level display name. This is the name that will appear when you clear the stage. It'll say corneria or level complete, and it will say the name that's on this column here. Uh, obviously, the f this is the actual file name of the level, and this is the display name. Here you specify what is the next level once this level is completed. And if you have a screenshot of the level, you can specify it here. This is going to be used when you save the game. Uh, in one of the three slots, it'll pick, it'll use the screenshot that's specified here. And if you have specific level music that you want to play, you specify it here. Any, any message, any um, sound cue that you specify here will start playing on begin play on that level. So we're going to add two entries here. So come back to the, to the row editor here, click on the plus. And actually, before we do that, let's go back to maps. And we're, we need to specify the exact name of the level. So this is level tutorial. Go back to DT maps, click on the plus. And here, we're going to say level tutorial. 
this has to be the exact name of the level, right? And you can see how it's added here. Level display name, let's just call it level one, keep it consistent. Next level, we're going to add level tutorial two. And then level screenshot, see if we can find, we're gonna use the Corneria screenshot for now, for this one and no level music, click on save. Let's add another row, click on the plus, and this row is for the second level. We're gonna call it level tutorial two. Again, the same file name, and the display name, we're gonna call it level two. And the next level, we're actually going to go back to the original level, so let's call it level tutorial. So as you can see here, and then let's let's choose the screenshot and let's make this uh, survival game mode screenshot, which is like the little space screenshot here. So see what we're doing here. We're saying that if we are on level tutorial and we finish the level, the stage clear blueprint will, will display level complete level one, which is the name we put here. It'll, after a, a specific amount of time, it'll load the, the level called level tutorial 2 that's under the next level and if you ever save this level it'll use the screenshot specified here okay notice that these names are exactly the names that are the file names so now let's go back to level one so level tutorial okay and let's go towards the end here let's not even wait all the way here let's 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 make the level end about here um, so the way we do this is we go to blueprints, actors, tools, BP stage clear. Okay. And we go ahead and move it all the way to the center here. And we can do, we can choose the scale here. Let's make it 10. Whoops. Actually, let's go ahead and, and change the trigger here. Okay, let's just specify it here. Maybe 150. And 150. Uh, it doesn't need to be that much. Maybe 100. Okay. And maybe 10 here. Okay. All right, and let's kind of center it here. And this is the stage clear. As soon as the, the player uh, overlaps this trigger, the stage will end. And this blueprint will, will call a function on the player blueprint that will look at the data table and will determine what, which level we're in and which level we need to load. Okay. And a few things, few options here. You'll notice that uh, if you click on setup, it's gonna filter here. You have whether this is active or not, stage clear is active or not, whether you want to rotate the player, meaning do you want the player to rotate to a specific angle once the stage is cleared? If so, what type of rotation? Is it absolute or relative? The new rotation, if you select relative, and the, and the mission status message, which is mission complete, you can put mission accomplished, like in Star Fox again, or you can put pretty much anything you want there. Uh, why would you want to have this active or inactive as an option? Well, say that you want the player to kill a certain amount of enemies before he can end the stage. So you could drop this in, you can make it inactive, and then you can write your own logic that when all of the players or all of the enemies are dead, or something happens in the level, you can call and reference this specific blueprint and activate it. And then as soon as the player goes through that um, trigger, it'll actually end the stage. Rotate the player means that as soon as you overlap here, you will actually rotate the ship into a specific angle. And you'll notice in games like Star Fox, they always kind of go up to the sky, right? So if you're going at a, you know, at a pitch of zero and you're going kind of going straight, as soon as you finish the level, the ship will just kind of rotate up into the sky as it kind of leaves the level. Um, so you do have a little arrow here that you can see. 
and this arrow is used to calculate the absolute rotation that the ship will take. By default, it's about 35 degrees here. So if you don't touch anything here, as soon as the player overlaps, it'll rotate to this angle, to the world rotation of this arrow. It'll go like this, and it'll display the stage uh, clear screen, and it'll load the next level. Okay. So let's go ahead and click uh, OK, leaving all this stuff here, and click Play. See what happens. We see the face message that we added. Checkpoint is saved. Going to zoom past here again. We get the NPC message. And then we overlap the stage clear. It should be coming pretty soon here. And as soon as we do, game saved. And you can see that it says level one complete, mission complete. Enemies down zero, total enemies zero. Pretty much everything zero and then it should load the next level in just a few seconds. And you can see that it says level two almost there. All right, cool. Okay, so now let's go to level two and do the exact same thing. Go to ASST, Maps, level tutorial 2 and we're going to add the same stage clear because right now uh, we aren't actually ending this stage so go back to blueprints actors tools bp stage clear and we're going to go kind of this through the same exercise here okay All right, and then we go into the trigger. We're going to scale this up. What was it, 150? And maybe 100 here, and maybe 10 here. There we go. Same deal. And then if we go to setup, rotate the player, and then let's change this. Instead of mission complete, let's call it mission accomplished. And now, if we go back to the first level, ASST, Maps, Level Tutorial, and we click Play, we get the face level one, we get the checkpoint, we are in the first level, we zoom past this, we get the first NPC message, Okay, we overlap, game saved, level one, mission complete. We get the little cutscene here, and then it should load level two in just a second. I think the default is five seconds. Level two loads, almost there. I'm gonna zoom past here, get the checkpoint. Get the NPC message and now we should hit again the stage clear BP it says level 2 mission accomplished remember we changed that message and now we should go back to level 1 because that is what we specified on the DT levels data table and we're back to level 1 Cool. All right. So, quick recap. We were able to add a face message at the beginning of each level and quickly make the title and the message from that uh, a blueprint setup. We were able to add a quick NPC message. We were able to add a second level just to test the system. And we just changed uh, a few things just to test that we are indeed going from one level to the other. We are using uh, a data table to, to, um, to use the level linking system, and you can see it right here. 
and there each level needs to have a row entry in this table if you don't have it here obviously the system won't work you won't find the row and you won't know what to do so make sure that you um, enter every single level here you do have a display name that will appear on the message you do have a next level where you specify the file name of the next level you have a screenshot that you can have for the specific level for when you save it and you have level music that starts playing as soon as you do that and we used uh, a blueprint called BP stage clear to force the level to end you can see it uh, right here obviously in the corneria level we're not using this blueprint we're we're calling the same function from a boss and we're going to take a look at that in the next video uh, or perhaps the video after i do want to have an alternate path and we want to set up a boss fight where uh, killing the boss actually ends the level and we will be looking at that in a future video so hopefully everything was clear i was uh, in a bit of a rush quite frankly here, uh, but this should be quite easy to follow. If you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment on the video. If something doesn't work or isn't clear, let me know. If not, thank you guys so much and I will see you next time.